Namaste and a very, very good evening to all of you. I welcome you to my channel, The Outlier. My name is Mithun. In today's video, I'll be talking about how to create a donut chart using Power BI. Even before I proceed to show you how to create a donut chart using Power BI, may I request you to subscribe to my channel, also like and share my videos. Most of you who would have used Tableau or any of the other BI tools, you will agree that creating a donut chart is not so easy in other BI tools. Here in Power BI, you'll see just with one click of the mouse, you will be able to generate the donut chart. Let me show you the field names that I have in the data set. As you can see here, there is the filters button, then you have the visualization button, and lastly, you have the fields button. Let me expand the fields pane. Here, I've already loaded a data set which is called as Sample Superstore. If you want to see the variables that are present in this particular data set, you can go ahead and expand this particular icon. As you can see here, there are a lot of variables in this data set like discount, profit, quantity, region. You also have row ID, sales, and subcategory. I will not be using all the variables. I'll be using only two variables, namely region and sales. One is a categorical variable. The second one is a continuous variable. Let me now go ahead and expand the visualization pane. In the third row, you can see the icon for a donut chart. As I move the mouse on top of the donut chart, Power BI describes that this is a donut chart. All that I need to do is click on the donut chart. You can see here in the report canvas, a new window appears wherein you can specify the variables that you need to create a donut chart. As I already told, the first variable that I'll be using is region. So let me just drag this and drop it into the window onto the left side. You can see here there are four regions, namely central, Eastern, Southern, and Western region. I'm not able to see a donut chart because to create a donut chart, I also need the second variable, namely sales. I'm going to drag this variable sales and drop it into the window onto the left-hand side. Let me expand this. You can now see the distribution of sales by region. There are four different regions, Western region, Eastern region, Central, and Southern. And you can see the percentage of sales that it accounts for. Now, we have created a donut chart. The next thing would be to format this particular donut chart. There are three tasks that I want to do. One is remove the legend. The second thing is, right now I'm able to see the percentage and the total value of sales broken down by region. What I want to do is, I want to see the distribution of region. I want to see the category name and the percentage of sales. The third thing that I want to do is I want to increase the font size of the text. So these are the three tasks that I want to do. Right now, if I hover the mouse on any of the slices, Power BI displays the region as well as the total sales in that particular region. It becomes a bit difficult for us to hover the mouse on each of the slices and then look at the distribution of sales. Is there an easier way of doing this? The moment you want to format any graph in Power BI, you have an option to the right side, which is called as format your visual. Let me go ahead and click on this particular option. Here, there are two options. One is called as visual and the second one is what is called as legend. My apologies, second one is what is called as general. So either you can do visual formatting or in general, you can opt for the general formatting. The first thing that I want to do is I want to remove this particular legend. The very first item here is legend. Let me go ahead and turn this off. Right now it is in the on mode. All that I need to do is turn this off. If you want to again bring back the legend, you can just choose the on mode. The second thing that you want to do is, let's say you want to change the color. So just click on the slices here. 
scroll down, you can see the color corresponding to each of the regions. For example, the western region is purple in color. The eastern region has a blue color. The central region as well as the southern region also has a different color. You can just click on the drop down menu and choose any of the colors that you want the western region to display. You can do the same thing for eastern as well as eastern central as well as uh, uh, as the southern region. Now, one other thing that you might want to do is you can just scroll up, remove the slices option. After you do this, you can see a very interesting option which is called as detail labels. Now, why do we need the detail labels? As I told you, I want to see the region name and the distribution of sales for each of the region. Now to do that, let me go ahead and expand the detail labels. Scroll down. You can see here, it says label contents. There are a whole lot of options here. You can only show the category or the data value or the percent of total. You can also choose category and data value. You can choose category and percent of total. This is what I want. So I'll go ahead and select this particular option, category and percent of total. You can see here, now Power BI is able to display the category name and the percentage. If you want to do any formatting of values, you can go ahead and expand the values button here. Now this gives you an opportunity to increase the font size. Right now the font size is very, very small because it is merely nine. Let's say I want a higher font size. So I can just go and choose a bigger value. If you want to play with the color, you can go ahead and do that as well. Let me scroll further down. Yes, this is a important option here. Percentage decimal places. Right now Power BI is displaying two digits after the decimal place. I want to remove this and I want to make it zero. Now you can see here the, the decimals are gone. The number of digits after the decimal point is gone. You can only see pure numbers here. So you can read and say now that the Western region accounts for 32%, Eastern region accounts for 30%, Central region accounts for 22% and the Southern region accounts for 17%. If for some reason you want to emphasize on the sales of the Western region because it is accounting for the highest level of sales. What you can go ahead and do is you can choose the option rotation. Let me drag this down. I can move the threshold bar to the right side. You can see here the Western region sales is appearing here. Let me move it further to the right side. Yes. Now you can see here the sales for the Western region is appearing right at the top. So this is how Power BI makes it very, very easy for us to format different slices. With this, I have come to the end of today's video. In today's video, we looked at how to create a donut chart. We also saw how to format this particular chart. Thank you very much for watching this video. I request you to subscribe to my channel. Also like and share my videos. Have a great day ahead.